Hmm. I don't know what haircut I like. I want to be. I want. I want my hair to pop. Well, hello there, Shirley Rocks here. Welcome to Vampires 4 Origins. Now, this is a game I've stumbled across on uh, Android. I believe it's on iOS as well, and it's pretty fun. It's like I don't know how to describe it. It's like a um, PVE and PVP. Uh, game and it's following vampires but it's like old world well I say not old world old style sort of graphics but it's 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 really a uh, really fun combat and exploration and I'm, I'm gonna show you it I might make this actually a regular thing if enough of you like it on the channel it's still fairly new I've only just uh, heard of it myself so we're gonna dive in and create a new character and I'll show you some of the games as I said I'm playing this on uh, Android so we are gonna uh Gonna create. Hopefully, no one's taken the name Shirley Rocks. I very much doubt they have, because I'm such a popular YouTuber. Right, so you can be male or female, um, and you can you can do all the usual stuff. You can change your skin tones. So if you want to be is that blue or grey, I really can't make my mind up. So male or female again, change all the skin tones. You can change the hair. Oh yeah, let's. Get us! Oh, look at that! That's instant, instant anime haircut. We're gonna, we're gonna go for that. Can I make my hair purple? No. What's the most anime haircut color? Um. Hmm. I don't know what haircut I like. I wanna be. I want. I want my hair to pop. That'll do. Right. Eye color. Uh, oh, look at them eyes. Scary yellow light. Eyes looking in your window. Uh, you can change your face as well. Oh, that's really disturbing. Um, come on, what's 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 the face of someone that's uh, the seen the world but needs to see some more of it and will terrify you looking in the window? I think that's the one there. It looks like I've shaved my eyebrows to look cool and I look really inappropriate. Okay, so Shirley Rocks, the male, uh, with the weird skin tone and that uh, pretty much looks like me apart from the face the eyes and the body okay so now the interesting part of this um you can choose a lineage at the start so we can be nosferatu uh which you get a trait of you get plus eight percent gold drop you can be a magistrav which um gives you a plus two percent item drop you can get plus two percent dodge which is the rani i don't know if it's ran jenny or rani any i'm going for ran jenny i think that's a j uh, Equides, which gives you plus 5 XP, and that is it. So I've read a little bit on um, the Reddit, and there is there's a pretty good uh, subreddit over on there. So from what I've read, from few, what a few people have said, um, they've said that if you like leveling up um, a good build, you, the Magistrav's a pretty decent build, and the Nosferatu for the gold... Um, this one with the dodge seems to be a good build for later on down the line if you'd plan on doing PvP. But if you're doing PvE, um, one of the other three, I think. I think that'll be pretty good as well. Equides gives you XP. Um, as I'm probably going to play this for a while, I really do suck at PvP, by, by the way. You, apparently, later on, you can actually um, you can respec, but we're going to go for this build. We're going to go for the dodge build, so let's just click start. Okay, and now we have an intro. The airless king is dead. A throne without an owner. A realm without a leader. With no govern, the villages and cities break loose from the crown and tend to their own needs. While the years pass, the land falls into a peaceful slumber, quiet and calm. When there is light, there is shadow. Whispers of a dark force growing unimpeded now that the army of the crown is dispersed. Rumors of a holder of darkness, a witch master, spread across the land. Suddenly, the slumbering villagers need troops, fearing the rumors to be true. You are enrolling to the defense of a small villages in hope of becoming a soldier. And that is where we start. So I am an apprentice 
trying to become a soldier and there's mysterious forces going on. Ooh. So, this is the main village that we start in. And here we go. Here's my fellow recruits. Town Elder Walter. Good morning, recruits. My name is Walter and I'm the el town elder of our fine village. I'm sure you're all aware of why we are asking the local community to enroll in the village defence. The rumours that the Witchmaster's army is moving south. I don't know what accent this is, actually. I don't know whereabouts in the, uh, the EU this accent is. Um, a village our size shouldn't be of interest to the Witchmaster, but we cannot be too careful in the per perilous times. Uh, all of You can skip it by just clicking it, by the way. All of you will get tasks to help defend our village. You there, Shirley Rocks, wasn't it? You can start by visiting Captain Angmar and follow his orders. Okay. He's over there. You can find him over there at the entrance. Okay, so we're going to go and uh, go and talk to that dude and see what is what. Okay, so let's go and talk to people. So this is the main town that you start off in, and there's a map which shows you the uh, area. Vam Vampire. Uh, the first recruit. That's our quest. If we go into recruiting here, you can go into the quests, click on here, see what your quest is. So my first quest is to talk to Captain Angmar. Uh, and there's all sorts of stuff. We're gonna, I'm just going to play through it and just show you what's what. So let's talk to some of these little characters. So these are the other recruits. And that's the town older. Let's talk to recruit. I want to kill some... Um, I want to keep the peace. Okay, you sound a nice chap. Uh, Mom is going to be so proud. Let's talk to the elder. Good day, Shirley Rocks. Thank you for joining the defence. Okay, now who's this? Deputy Maria. Greetings, new recruit. What is your job? I'm the deputy of this village. To be honest, that usually means taking care of drunk people and fighting off rats when they get too big. Okay, anything I can do to help? Yes, we've had problems with crazy farmers outside the village. Don't know if it's something in the water or the fear of the Witchmaster's army that drives them crazy. Find two and take care of them. You were last seen in a farm south of our village, but you can run into them anywhere outside the village wall. Help me and I'll throw a few coins your way. So... That means there is a quest over there now, which you can tell by the um, the icon there. I think these other ones are like random. Well, not random. There are battles, uh, like static battles that you can go and take part in. But you can go and talk to all the people in the village. But we need to go and get on with this quest. Let's go and talk to Captain Angmar. Okay, a new recruit. How lovely. Absolutely fantastic. Nothing can stop us now you are here. Armies will tremble before you. I'll do my best. You don't even have a weapon, do you? New recruits, I have I have a few weapons for sale, take a look at these ones. So this is the sort of first choice you've got in the game. Now, you've got three different um, uh, types of weapon here. So we've got a spear, which I believe is a thrust stroke piercing attack. We've got the uh, rusty sword, which is a slashing attack and also piercing. And we've got the club, which is blunt attacks. Now, I've heard a few people say that there's various different... Um, weapon choices you can do so you can play uh, like a slashing build um, or you can play with uh, an axe for slashing as well and you can mix them up so you could have say for instance you could have blunt so you could have two maces or you could have a mace and a hammer uh, I have had some people say about uh, using spears but spears don't really seem to be that particularly exciting I went for this one simply for the damage because look you can do that one 14 to 22 damage it does take quite a while to get your focus up, though, so I am tempted to go for something a little bit easier. Um, I don't want to go for sword or spear. I think I might go for spear. Let's try a little go with a spear. Right, so we've got to equip it. So I know some people have said there's no tutorials for that, so that's why I thought this might be good if any of you get this game. So just simple to drag your weapon. You just drag it over like that. Like all soldiers before you, your first opponent will be a rat. Right. Less of the talking, more of the spearing. Okay, so we've got a rat. Attack with weapon in main hand or use both hands for a dual attack. Okay. Instinct and control of special abilities. Currently you have one instinct ability. So, we're in our first battle. It's got, if you look at the top right, it's got 25 health. We've got 50 health and we've got the focus. Now, focus goes up as you attack. So, you can see on my um, first ability, this attack with the main gives me... 5 to 8 damage, and the secondary gives me 7 to 10 damage, but uses 20 of my uh, focus. Now, if we go to Instinct, we can see we've got the Sharpen ability. Now, if we use the Sharpen ability, we'll be able to get more damage onto our weapon, and control is empty at the moment. So let's 
Let's sharpen our spear. Yeah. So I think that means we've got four attacks now with a higher rate of attack. So we're going to go and attack. So this should do five to eight damage. Let's see how much damage we do now. Ten piercing. Yes. You're going to get some more of that, Sonny Jim. Let's get some more of that there. Yes. Down to five. Now we've got a combo turn. So we've got to choose several combo, combo attacks and or several instinct and control attacks. So we've got 50 focus now. So what we can do is we could sharpen if we wanted. And then well, we don't really need to at the moment. We're just going to go for weapons. So we could do five punches. We could do um, two thrusts. Um, let's go for a thrust. Punch. Punch. And that's, in, that's enough. So... We're going to do this queue of uh, attacks now. So here we go. We, we, we only, look at that. Fabulous. <laughs> you did fabulous, Shirley Rocks. Nice. Rat defeated. Ooh, nearly got enough to level up. And we got some lootage. So we're going to pick that up. You killed a rat. Our saviour has arrived. Wait a second. You actually managed to get bit by the rat. Good job, recruit. Now follow the road out of the village, past the weapon stand, and find Sava Savanonic. That's a rolls off your tongue. He can heal that wound before it infects. Okay, got two quests now then. We've got to go and kill the villagers, and we've got to go and speak to the doctor. First of all, we're going in to recruit, and we have got our item here. So we've got brace bracelets. I think they're like braces. So we're going to try and drag these onto my body somewhere, just because they're a bit of bit extra armor. Means I can take a little bit more damage. Now... Interesting enough, you can actually heal over here as well. Now, this is Emmeline. Emmeline is... She can heal up as well. So, I can heal most things, but not nasty rat wounds. Don't tell... Oh, but not nasty... Let's see. So, you can't heal me. Oh, you can heal me, you fibber. The fibbing doctor. Right, anyway, we're going to go to the next bit. Um, I don't think we need to talk to that one. Let's go, let's go and head out. So we've got a uh, store owner here. You can buy different weapons from them. So we've got a better spear there. So if you look at this other spear, that's much better than the one I've got. 64 books we need for that one. So we're not getting that just yet. But you can buy different things. Now it'd be interesting to see if um, spear is a two-handed weapon. I've got a feeling it will be. You. I don't know you. I can see you need healing. If I offer my healing service, you should help me. Promises must be kept. There is a beast... I want dead. It's in the way of some... It's in... Oh, it's in the way of some mushrooms. I must have. It's just west from here. The beast will show itself if you try to pick a mushroom. Come back here when it's dead. I keep my end of the promise and I will heal you now. Eat this dry toenail. Come back any time. Oh, that makes me feel sick. Now, one of the interesting things you can do in this game, we can craft healing pots. Now, if we click on the slots there, you notice we've got different cues for the pots. Now, they don't seem to require any resources from what I've seen, but they have different times. So I think they are different um, how much they heal. So I'm going gonna, gonna to create a quick one and a big one so we can see what the difference is. And then you can actually interact with these in here. We've got um, we can got four there, and you've got an extra one there, which you can unlock. I don't know if you have to buy it or unlock it. Okay, so we've got a quest. Um, so we've got a quest up here. I don't know if I'm strong enough to fight this yet, so let's have a little look. Let's interact and fight the beast. Okay, this has got 105 health, so let us do our sharpening. Okay, I'm going to try and fight this beastie. Okay, um, stabby, stabby. Here we go. That's going to take a lot of hits. I can, <laughs> I can already see this is going to be a short battle. Okay, we've got a combo turn. Um, let's do one of them. Two of them. And that'll do. I'll be very surprised if I survive this. Um, keep stabbing. Down to 49 health. Oh, I'm down to 8 health. Let's try and uh, do a dual attack. 7 piercing. Oh, we got a crit. Oh, we dodged. We dodged. Right, let's do one of them. Go. Oh, 30. I'm so close to dying, and I'm dead. Now, don't worry, it is not over. There is still time for us. You do spawn back at the village. There you go, and we've got a little bit of healing up now. 
And now it basically means we need to level up more. So let's go and talk to you again. Let's see if there is anything extra. Have you got anything else to talk to me about? No. Now, let's go and show you the village. So when you run around the village, there is different people you can talk to. And you do get different quests sometimes off them. So worth wandering around the village. Old villager. So these are recruits. They're going to defend us. I'll start packing immediately. So they're not all particularly friendly. I'm just trying to work my way around the village. Now I'm looking for... Well, here we go. So you do things, see things like this. Treasure chest. Interact with that. I got 10 gold. Yeah. So you do need to keep interacting with all these. I'm going to interact with this one. I know this one's got a quest. Psst, you. Come here. I need to deliver a package with some medicine for my grandma. You can do that for me, right? Just follow the road out of the village to the guards behind Sava's house. One of them will bring the package to grandma. Don't tell a deputy, will you? Okay, so we've got... We are now a postman. We're going to go and do this quest. Uh, this should appear in my quest log. The package. Follow the road out of the village and deliver the package. Or give the package to deputy. Well, I'm going to play a bit of a scoundrel in this. So I'm not, I'm not going to go and give it to the deputy. I won't grass you up. Right, so we're going to go and follow this village along... Well, the, the road along here. We need to get to where the guards are. And they are to the north. I've just been a bit disturbed and thought of Jon Snow, seeing that tree with the blood on it. Hmm. Right, interact. You have a package for me. Yeah. Here is your reward. All of its grandma is going to be happy. So you can see my gold is slowly going up. So I think for the next thing, we are going to go and pay a visit to the uh, villagers. Well, the farmers, sorry. So keep an eye out for all these chests. Three gold. I think it was... I don't have to buy that new spear. There was a new spear. Which we can um, go ahead and upgrade. I'm not too sure what the best weapon is. I don't want to be stuck with a... We, we, well, we can go and explore that. I'm not going to explore it at the moment. Basically, there's something there which is completely above my skill level to fight. And I will get absolutely owned. Okay, so we're looking for the angry villagers. Well, angry farmers. Let's go and see if they're in. Knock, knock. Are you in, the angry villagers? Yes, you are. Okay. Let us do my instincts. Let's sharpen my spear. Okay. Ooh. Frisky one, are you? Let's do some stabbies. There we go. Crazy farmer. Let's do some more stabby stabbies. There we go. Ooh, resistant. Uh, resistance reduced by 20%. Okay, Thrustmaster 9000 mode engaged, go. Yes, yes. Um, we're still not got 20, come on. I think we should be able to win this fight. Come on, stab again. There we go. Victorious and fabulous at the same time. So now we should, hopefully, I should have enough to level up now. Ding! We are now level one and a half, and we've unlocked the backstab ability. Nice. Now, if we go into level up. Now, this is the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm very new to this. So if any of you veterans are watching this and you can offer any builds. I've heard people talk about various uh, builds and stuff in the game. So we've got bloodlines and we've got abilities. Now, abilities, um, we have different abilities. That A lot of them are locked at the moment. Um, we've got the sharpening ability, so we could put a point into that. Um... We've got other abilities there, which are things like we've got a mystery ability, we've got fracture, we've got fortify, that's under uh, instinct, might, we've not got any of those unlocked, control, we've got backstab, we've got bat swarm, we've got conjure, and we've got petrify. Uh, we have got backstab. I think somebody, I, I did, I did read um, at the start of the game. Um, a, a good thing to get put your stuff into was it a, I think it was a fortify backstab and sharpen and fracture will help so that's quite a lot of them backstab is pretty good so you attack the enemy from behind each strike has a 50 percent 57 percent chance to trigger a new strike so now the thing with this, these abilities i don't know if we have to put at least one point into it because we've not i don't think you do because we've got sharpen and we've not put anything into that um, have we got any of these other ones we need to I don't think we need any of these other ones 
Actually, I quite like the idea of... See, I, I, I don't particularly like putting the points into sharpen, simply because um, I need to put the points into it to unlock this, like Fracture. But I think Backstab might be quite good at the start, so let's stick a point into that. Okay, now the Bloodline, we've got Anger, Vitality, and Deceit. So let's have a little look. So under Anger, we've got Hard Hitter, plus one max damage with weapons. We've got Vitality, which is lesser health, which gives me plus two max hit points. And we've got Deceit, which is dodge, plus 1% chance to dodge any uh, attacks. So it's pretty um, interesting what to put these into. Um, so I want more health. I think I'd like more damage. So let's do more points into damage. And it unlocks different tiers. So you see I've got three points in that. Now I've got uh, Precise uh, Hitter, I've got Piercing Expert, I've got Blunt Expert, and Slash Expert. So it depends what you want to go into. So we're using the Spear mainly at the moment, which is which is the Piercing Expert. So I think we'll stick a point into that. Hopefully respecking is not too uh, hard, and we can actually respec a little bit easier. Now, excellent. Now, you saw before I had these potions, so what we do is you build them, well, you, you make them, take them, and you can see they put in my slots. So it is important you keep these topped up at all times. So let's do another one. Let's do an eight-minute one and a five-minute one and quickly check these out. So this was a two-minute one, which is a lesser vial, which gives you 30% of your health. Okay. And the other one is the greater. So that's the eight-minute one, which gives you all of your health back. So nice. Right. Let's have a little look on the map. Now, we've actually cleared the field, but it's still showing it as a interest point. So let's go and have a little look. Is there anything around here? Can't see anything. Hmm. Maybe it's just showing up as a general location. Can't appear to in... Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, there was two I had to kill, wasn't there? Of course. Right, let's go, and, let's go and finish the second one off then. Okay, so we've got our... Backstab ability now, which is 30 points. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for an attack instead of a sharpen. Get our focus up to 30, which will be next turn. Now we can uh, do our instinct, our control ability. Do backstab, and here we go. Stab, stab. we got two attacks out of that. Nice. And we need to do standard fighting again now. Ooh. Right, we've got a combo turn. Let's do a thrust and a punch and go. We are we are uh, pretty, pretty evenly matched, really, with this, uh, these villagers. We're not really that much better than them. Ooh, we dodged that one. All right, let's go for a, um, a stab and a punch. So stab, punch. Ooh, he's got two health left. You tease. All right, let's... Let's just do do all the punches. Go on. Punch. Oh, fabulous. We only did one punch, but that, 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 that's enough. Okay. Are we going to have enough to level up again? Uh, not quite. No loot, though. Hang on. Didn't we get some loot before? And I didn't. No, we didn't. I've just made that up. Okay. That, that should have disappeared off the map now. Yes. Okay, now I have got the um, the health thing there, so you can use your potions in your inventory. So I'm going to use the greater one. I am now on full health again. You see, you see where I'm going with this. Okay, so you do have to keep topping those up. All right, so let's go back to the village because we've done that quest now for one of these. So I want to say, hey, I've done your quest. Give me, give me stuff. Greetings, new recruit. Right, the farmer seems to be gone now. Great job. Thanks for your help. Okay, we've got 25 uh, uh, gold for that, and we've managed to level up again. Now, let me have a little look at some of these other ones. So, is there any abilities I want? Um, um, what about vitality? Anything tempting in there? What's that? Refreshing combo. Regenerates 1.5 focus. Uh, let's go for anger. Now, I can put points into this one, but there's some other abilities here which look interesting. We've got Hard Hitter and Berserker. Plus 5% damage when hit points is under 25%. Or we've got Hard Precise Hitter. Crits that hits do 2% damage or 
crits. Ooh, stun might be nice. That might be nice. You know what? So you do have to go down the, the chains. So, well, the lines. So let's put some points into this. So once I put one point in this, that's going to go down to seven. There you go. And we've got a new ability in here. So let's put another point into Stabby Stabby. Well, Backstabby. Nice. Right. Now I know I've, I've, I have done a little bit of this further ahead. So I do know there's another quest near here. Um, was it this one? No. I'm trying to think who's got an extra quest. There is. Pretty sure there's another quest in the village. Let's go and talk to them. Please make it so the witch masters leave this village be. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Hang on. I think it's this one. Mirabelle. Interact. If you want to make a few, few coins, you can visit my father. He lives just outside the village to the north. He always needs help with something. Okay. I will do that. So we're basically, we're just trying to level up at the moment and get some um, experience so we can get a little bit of a better fight against that monster. Right, so we've now got the chance to buy this uh, thing. So, Old Spear. Now, this gives me some different combo attacks. It gives me a uh, heavy thrust and this thrust piercing. So, we are going to have that. Now, you can buy a lot of um, equipment as well. And, ooh, what do some of these do? So, we've got weapon damage on that one, which is 31. So, I've not got enough for that. Beast Hunter gives you 6% XP. We've got max health. That's that's a cheap good upgrade, isn't it? That's 16. We're gonna have I'm gonna have some of that. Uh, if we go to recruit now, I've got 60 hit points. If we were the ring. Nice. I do like that. Okay, we need to make sure we keep taking these uh potions. There we go. Well, we keep using them. Okay, we are going to go and off and hunt for the thing here. Which is the the, the the quest thing. There's a, there's a guy apparently to the north of the village. There we go. There he is. So this is one of them games. I really... Consider it's 2018. The graphics in this remind me of playing um, like Diablo or something. It's really good. Now he wants me to go and find him some whiskey. And I, I'm a dirty cheat. I know where it is. I know where the whiskey is. Who, who doesn't know where the whiskey is? So if we go down here... Now, there is random encounters when you're running, running round, but there is also set encounters, so I think I'm calling up to a set encounter soon. Okay, whiskey stash. This is the booze belonging to old man Goronov. Um, oh, I thought there was an encounter for that whiskey. Maybe not. Right, let's take the booze back. Because this is a, an easy way of just, like, levelling up a little bit at the start. We're going to go and give him his booze. There we go. There's some booze. I can smell it. Thank you, lads. You saved me day. Take it easy with that. Okay. We've got some uh, gold and XP. Oh, one thing I've not talked about is this. Um, chat. Um, yes. Look, you can talk to people. There's a there's PvP chat. There's a global chat. There's dev news. Clans. Ooh. So this is pretty... Um, there's a, ooh, there's an update. You might have to... Oh, there is an update. I might have to do uh, another video with, <laughs> with this update. So, yeah, that is um, basically what I need to do at the start. So, I'm going to see what quests. I've still got to do this beastie quest. Uh, let's go and heal up and see if we're any more powerful enough to... Oh, do you know what we could do? Let us buy... Interact with you again. Um, I did want to buy something different. I. Right, yeah, I think you can wear two rings. Hmm. Is there a piercing damage one? There isn't really. There's that one though. It's only 31. I've not quite got enough. Um, I have got some stuff to... I can sell my old spear. Wait a minute. That's... I nearly did a terrible mistake. Right, I've got a simple spear. The old spear. Right, I need to equip my new weapon. Now I could... I could rock it with two spears. That might be quite entertaining. Or I could actually just sell this. So if I interact with him, click on sell. I can sell me simple spear for one, but no. Let us let's rock out with two spears. Um, and maybe go and do another fight. Let's go and fight. Let's go and fight the uh, the beastie. 
Now, last time I interacted with the, the bit down here, I think it's actually this bit you need to interact with. Um, I know it's a waste of health, but <laughs> I need my health now. So we're going to interact with that, and we're going to interact with the, uh, the beast layer and see if we can do the battle. We've leveled up a little bit since we last fought, fought him, so we're going to um, use some of our special abilities. So we're going to uh, just get our abilities leveled up a little bit. 12 piercing. Right, we're on 32 now. Uh, we can do backstab. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, we only got one strike on him. Ooh. That hit pretty hard. Uh, we're going to stab again. There we go. We should get the um, the bonus attack now. Seems to be every three turns. Right. So if we had 50 health, we could do heavy thrust. Unfortunately, we haven't. So we can do either of these thrusts. So let us do two thrusts. And that will go. And do go. Okay. Come on. I think I think we're going to be good for this now. I think we're going to have enough to do this. To get this uh, leveled up a little bit. It would be, nice, be nice to do the super big uh, attacks. Let's not use any of our focus. Hopefully next turn is going to be... Yes. Let's do a heavy thrust. Go. 31 piercing damage. You do look fabulous. <laughs> that was pretty good. Nice. Victory. So we've... Nice, we've leveled up as well, ding. And we've got a sword and some boots. And boots look pretty uh, pretty good. Right, we're going to level up again then. Uh, abilities. Now, as you can see, once we've leveled up some of these, these should uh, start dropping so we can... Uh, I think you need to be a certain level to uh, uh, do these ones. So once we get level 5, we can get bat, bat swarm, apparently. Right, bloodlines. We're going down this line. I don't know if that's a good thing to do, but that's what we're going to do. Next one, we can do that one. We can get that precise um, precise hitter, and then it's stunning, it's stunning strike I want to do. Right, let's run back to the village. Oh, we did get some new boots as well, didn't we? So we've got these now. Plus 1% dodge ability. Yes, I'm going to work them. And we've got this as well. This is a dull greatsword. It's worth 66 gold. Gives me plus 16 health, so that might be worth... Hmm, might be worth considering um, keeping. Let's go and hand this quest in anyway. Okay. Now, who had the quest? It was, I think it was the commander over here. Captain. Interact. New recruits running around everywhere. No, not him then. Who, had, who gave me the quest? Oh, yeah, it was the, it was the healing dude. Okay, now there is quite a lot to show you in this video, so I do want to, I am going to show you a bit longer than normal in this video because I do want to show you all of it because I've got to a point where it's like, yeah, this is this is where it's getting cool. Right, now you've killed the beast, good, the mushrooms are mine, don't disturb me anymore, go back and talk to someone in the city or jump in the river, I don't care. It's such a, such a friendly chap. Right, let's go back to the uh, village then. And let's try and talk to the captain again. You took a long time healing up recruit. You think it's a joke being a soldier. I will now have to punish you. Run five laps around the city wall. Wait, what's that sound? Oh, no, 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 no. He's not supposed to come here. But everything that is holy, no. What the hell is that army of his? That's not... That's no humans. Okay. The, um... The witch master is here. I am the witch master. I have a message for your puny village in caps. Send out your strongest warrior. If your warrior defeats me, my army will turn around and leave the city be. If no one comes out, we're going to burn you all. Okay, so this is where we get Captain Angmar is going to save us. But apparently, Captain Angmar is back. He's sore. His legs hurt. And he wants me to go and fight him. So, yeah. <laughs> we've been nominated to go and fight. So, we've now got to fight the Witchmaster. And considering I'm a level 5 noob, I don't think this is going to go too well. Even though I've got two spears and I look fabulous. Okay, let's stab you with my piercing sword. Um, he's just thrown a sword at me. How rude. Well, his staff. Okay. He doesn't like me. He keeps hitting me with his magic staff. Let's stab him again. What? Oh, I didn't even... I was, I was charging up my focus to try and get him. That's some skullduggery there. Everyone. 
dead. Can't breathe. So this this was the, the changer that made me like when I I was generally I was playing this on my tablet and I was generally like, wow, I didn't see that coming. Okay. Thirsty. Need to drink. Okay, let's go and drink. Come on. Let's go and drink from that well. So as you can see, the village has now been decimated. And my controller's turned into a skull. That's not good. Must drink from well. Okay, we're gonna drink. Still thirsty. It's not helping. Need to drink. First is getting worse. Can't focus. Everyone dead. Mmm, what's that scent? It's wonderful from that body. I think they've got Old Spice on. Um, let's go on. Uh, we've got. We've now got a bite. Uh, we've unlocked bite. I need blood. Your blood craving enable you to speak anymore. Okay, let's drink from the dead soldier. Drinks blood. The first is gone, and so is everyone I know. Why can't I feel sorrow? I have no room for it. There is nothing but pure hate inside me. I must find and kill the witch master. That is the only thing that matters in this world. Okay, so that is the big twist. That is, I now have been... Apparently, I was dead, and now I am not dead. We've not got any quests, but we need to travel to Avan, which is over yonder. It's over that way. If actually, we can see it on the map. We scroll over. So, yeah, that is going to be the subject for the next video. That is if you do want to see more of it. So, as I said, this is uh, Vampire Fall Origins. And, yeah, it's out on Android and iOS. And if you do want to see more of this on the channel, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing some more of it. Uh, I imagine there's going to be quite a lot of grinding in this sort of game. So, uh, while I'm low level, I will literally just run around, play it for half an hour, and show you some more of it. So, if any of you have played it and can offer me any tips about the lineage and stuff like that, about the bloodlines, um, the abilities, and things like that, then let me know in the comments box below. Anyway, yeah. So if you do want to play it, uh, check it out. I'll post links in the um, descriptions below, or you can just go to the iOS, uh, Android, well, Apple Store, or go to the uh, Google Play Store and uh, get it from there. Anyway, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to stick a little uh, like on this video, smash that sub button, and leave a comment uh, be it good, bad, or whatever. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.